What's going on, YouTube? Happy Monday. I want you to listen to my message that I have to say. And a lot of you have probably experienced similar things like this in your life. And I, and I want to say it as calmly as I can say this. Do not put your life in someone else's hands. Do not put your life in someone else's hands. It's your life. What am I talking about here? I had a cousin one time that applied for a department store job. And he was just constantly looking for work at this time. And I asked him a question. I said, have you heard anything from the job? He said, no. I told you, man, no one's calling me back. No one is calling me about this job. So I asked him a powerful question right after that. I said, did you call them? And he kind of looked at me like I had four heads. He said, what do you mean call them? I can't call them. Why can't you? You're just a number mixed up in a pile of sheets where they're trying to find out who's the douchebag and who's not. And the only way for you to stand out is for you to make that phone call. He made that phone call and they said, sir, can you come in for an interview today? Now, if he wouldn't have made that phone call, he probably wouldn't have got, gotten that message. You see, in business, in the workforce world, in any type of world, there will always be people that will tell you, can I get your information and we'll call you back. And as soon as I hear that phrase, this is what I'll say. You know what? I'm not going to give you the information just yet. When will he be available? When will she be available? And I'll call back during that time. Because you have to understand, sometimes when you walk in organizations, that little cubicle that's right in front of you, that's the offensive line right there. They're blocking the key player who's behind them from really seeing you and from talking to you. But you have to find a way to maneuver around that offensive line <laughs> and get to that key player. I don't take no for an answer. I don't take, well, well, who'll get back to you? No, 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 no. There's many people he needs to get back to. I will get back to him or her. You, you see what I'm going with it? I don't put my life in someone else's hands because think about it. That person that you may need to talk to has family issues they need to take care of. They have to take the kids to the soccer game. They have all types of appointments and people to meet and meetings and meet during the day, right? You think they're really worried about some piece of paper or some person that say, hey, call me back. No. And then when I call them back, this is what I say. Look, I want to take one minute of your time and then I get to it. I don't waste time. I get right into it, tell them what I need and bam. And a lot of times by me moving, by making that simple choice of saying, I'm not going to have you call me back, has put me to the top of the list many times. You see, in this world, you have to take what you want. You have to become that nuisance to be like, man, I'm tired of this guy calling me. What is it that you want? This is what I want. Oh, that's what you wanted? Yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay, no problem. Come down to this time. Okay, great. You got to be that person. I've heard it far too many times where people say, well, I sent them a message and it's been two weeks and I haven't heard anything. And I don't want to call them because I don't want to bother them, bother them. If you think what you need in life is urgent, bother them. Let them know that it's urgent. Let them know that you need that particular thing. Because I, I can guarantee you right now, some of you who are watching this video has fell victim to that. You have, <laughs> you have been put on the back burner, thrown in file 13, which is the garbage can, only because you made the statement of, I don't want to seem like a nuisance. Because your problem or your situation is not a nuisance. What you have to offer, right, is great. 
You're not a nuisance. You're just letting them know, hey, I exist. You know, a Les Brown, motivational speaker. If you ever heard him speak, one thing he talks about when he made it to the radio station is that the guy said, I have no work for you. There is nothing that I need for you right now. You know what he did the next day? He showed up. There is nothing that I have for you right now. He showed up the next day. There is nothing that I have for you right now. He showed up the next day. Then he got his foot in the door, and then he became a radio disc jockey. Then one guy called in sick. Well, I mean, before he became a radio disc jockey, one guy called in sick, and this guy had been waiting for that moment day after day after day he called in sick and that guy came in and totally rocked it and he became um the dj for that radio station you see in life no one says life was fair but one thing life is it gives you what you put out so if you put out this shy timid i don't want to bother anybody type vibe you're going to get the crumbs but if you put out that vibe that I'm gonna take what I want, I'm gonna let these guys know that I exist, that I'm not just some foul uh, on this on this stack of papers, I'm not just a person and I think I stand out amongst all of these stacks of paper. I'm great. And I'm gonna show you that I'm great. That's the attitude that you have to have. And if you don't have that attitude, then move over and let the strong people come ahead just as simple as that so I hope I'm giving you the tools to make you successful I hope because I'm telling you right now you can't be timid in this world you can't be timid and be successful you got to take it you got to act now you can't procrastinate you got to do it now and if you're not doing it now you're not doing it at all so with that said guys thank you guys for watching this channel please subscribe Send it all over. Let all your friends know. Post it on the Facebook. Post it on your Twitter. Get the Twitter. <laughs> your Twitter. Let everyone know that this exists. And until next time, guys. Signing off.